Sephiroth is the very last fight of the 3D Brawlers and as you might expect is a bit of a nightmare to beat. Thankfully though you can make it considerably easier by using the pause method which I'm going to show you along with a couple of extra tips and a move reference sheet that you can either pause on or download from the description below. It's also worth mentioning that you can make things slightly easier again by switching the game mode to easy. If you've managed to get this far without using this method then hats off to you because I really struggled before realising that you could do this. Essentially you're going to want to hit the pause button on the controller just as Sephiroth gets to the middle of his move. It takes a little practice but there's a split second between him winding the move up and him executing it. If you pause there you'll be able to move the correct control stick to the correct position hold it in that position and then press the pause button again to unpause the game. As long as you don't go too late, you'll dodge the move. So these are the moves that he does along with what you need to do to counter them. I've made a screenshot reference sheet that you can find and download from the description that has all of these moves in one image along with their corresponding counter. The best way I found to tell the difference between the moves was to look at his head position and the position of both of his hands. For example, this is Sephiroth's straight right punch, which you need to move the left stick up to dodge. Notice that his head is facing slightly up, his right hand cocked back but not fully extended and his left hand is raised. This is his right hook, which you need to move the left stick to the left to dodge. His head is in the middle position, his right hand cocked all the way back and his left hand is low down. This is his right uppercut which you need to move the left stick down to dodge. His head is facing down, his right hand is cocked back high and his left hand is low down. This is his straight left punch which you need to move the right stick up in order to dodge. His head is facing slightly up again, his left hand cocked back and his right hand is raised. This is his left hook which you need to move the right stick to the right to dodge. His head is in the middle position, his left hand is cocked back and isn't visible and his right hand is low down. This is his left uppercut which you need to move the right stick down to dodge. His head is facing down, his left hand is cocked back high and his right hand is low down. After a number of successive dodges, Sephiroth will enrage. His moves are exactly the same with the exact same telegraphs. You just need to be quicker on the pauses. It'll take a few attempts to get the flow of it but this is one of those things where practice really does make perfect. After dodging four or five of his quick attacks, he'll become vulnerable to being hit. So attack him with either L2 or R2 and make him feel it because this mini game has been a painful one. Keep pausing and checking what you see on your screen against the move list at the end of the video and eventually you'll beat him. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, please join me in rejoicing in never having to do this bloody mini game ever again in the comments.